Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to change things up a little bit. I am a day off on my video posting just because of the time that I was getting home over the weekend, being able to edit and upload before midnight just didn't work out the way I kind of thought it might. So I'm gonna change things up a little bit for today's video so you're not getting another workday vlog and just do a little bit of a Q&A. I have 12 questions that I found online that I thought I would answer just to um, connect with you guys more and let you get to know me a little bit better. I did a Q&A 11 months ago, almost a year to the date because I'm literally sitting in front of my Christmas decorations that are up at my house again right now. So it has to have been a year almost, like any time before Christmas because like I said, my Christmas decorations were up. So um, that question, that Q&A was just like a bunch of random questions. It wasn't really anything super important about my life or myself. So I thought today I would dive into like um, just more relevant questions about who I am. So we're just gonna dive into it, but while I have your attention, before you leave the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe being the most important one. I really am excited to hit 100 subscribers. I've been at this whole YouTube thing for a year, but I haven't really consistently uploaded. So my goal this next year is to just do that for you guys because I know there actually are a handful of you out there that look forward to my videos and I get really excited when you message me and tell me that. So thank you guys. I really love and appreciate all of your support. But with that, let's just get into the video. So the first question is, how old are you? I am 23, almost 24. My birthday is March 18th. I was two hours and nine minutes shy of being a St. Patrick's Day baby, but I'm actually kind of glad I have my own day. So March 18th. What's your family size? I think Gus is going to be featured. Come on, get down. Gus is going to be featured in all of my videos, just cutting across the camera. Um, so I have obviously a mom and a dad and they are still married. And I have an older sister, Sydney, who has her own YouTube channel. I'll put it here. She is 25. I have a brother who is 19. Sydney is married now. She just got married back in June. So I have a brother-in-law, Blake. And then my mom has four siblings. My dad has two. I have a decent number of cousins. I have like 10, 10 or 11 first cousins all together. Where do you live? I live in Great Falls, Montana. I'm not sure if you're gonna find videos from anyone else on YouTube from someone in Great Falls, Montana. It is a very small little city. It's probably like the smallest city Montana has right now. We have 55,000 people. We have a military base, a pretty big hospital. No Chick-fil-A. No really good franchise restaurants at all, actually. But that's okay. I was born and raised, well, I was born here, raised in Cascade, which is 30 miles south of Great Falls. I went to school there. We'll get into that in a second. I guess actually we'll just answer it now. Like, what's my schooling background? So I went to the same public school from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade, literally graduated on the exact same stage that I had years prior. It's really crazy. Some of my teachers also taught my dad, my aunt, and my uncle, as well as my sister, and then finished off with my brother. He just graduated. And yeah, very, very small town. I think I either had 17 or 19 kids in my graduating class. Super, super small. And a handful of them I'd literally known since I started daycare. Crazy. Um, after I graduated from Cascade, I moved to Bozeman, Montana, which is three hours south of here. And I went to a community college. It's called Gallatin College MSU. And I studied, uh, I guess for business, it was just a one year professional business certificate. So I don't have a degree. Um, I never really, I guess I kind of set out to go to college and I would look through the MSU course catalog, but I didn't really find a topic or like a major that struck my interest. So it was literally the week before I was supposed to go to orientation for elementary education that I made my mind up to go to Gallatin and just get out of the house and use the scholarship money that I did have for just a one year program. So I didn't go to orientation. I actually just went to Bozeman for the weekend to hang out with my sister and fell in love with Bozeman. I lived there for two years and I did that school for one year. And then after that, I kind of like in the middle of it, it's a little bit fuzzy. I don't remember perfectly well, but um, somewhere in the mix of there, I decided to go into real estate. I think I just kind of like Googled different 
um, avenues to make money off of without having to go to college. And the reason I did that is because I just really did not want to be in student debt. I did not care to go to school for another four years. I really did not enjoy school. And like I said, there was nothing in the course catalog that piqued my interest. Elementary education tugged on my heart because I love working with little kids and being a kindergarten teacher really did seem super fun. But then for the amount of money it paid, it just wasn't the income that I wanted to bring in for the life that I intended to live. So that's what kind of stirred me, steered me into real estate. So then um, a year and a half after I had graduated high school, I took the real estate course and then got my license a few months later. I was back and forth because I was still living in Bozeman. So it pretty much took me eight months to get into real estate once I had taken the test, but or once I had taken the school. But I was just kind of back and forth working at Target in Bozeman and just having fun. It was like the best year of my life, honestly. But then eventually I got into real estate. So that leads me into the next question. What do I do for work? I'm a full-time realtor here in Great Falls. I've been doing it since September 1 is my record start date, but I think it was like August 17th of 2017. So yeah, I've been doing it for three years, three years and a few months. And, um, I'll touch base on that a little bit more. I do have a whole YouTube channel for real estate. It's called Chasing Real Estate. Um, and my name's in the title as well. So I'll link that below. First, if you have any questions about real estate specifically or want to know more about that, you can find more videos over there. But I'm an independent agent. I'm not on a team. I do have a transaction coordinator that helps me once I get my properties under contract. But at this point in time, I do not have um, any sort of full-time assistant. I don't have a showing agent, buyer's agent. I do it all myself. I work with sellers and buyers. And I'm liking it. It's, uh, it's a lot different than I expected it to be. And it doesn't get easier as the years and months and weeks go by. It's it's challenging, it's trying, but it's it's a fun job. How did I choose being a realtor? Well, that kind of goes back into what I just explained. I really wanted a career or a job that was lucrative as far as money and time goes. So overall, I can really set out to make how much money that I want to. I can create my own schedule for the most part. I really don't. I work when I need to work and relax when I can but it's it's flexible if i want to stay home and work i can i don't have to worry about taking time off to celebrate holidays if the fourth of july falls on a work week i know that i can take the whole day off you know stuff like that so i just really wanted a flexible schedule and i've been able to provide that for myself what type of student was i in high school um i was the type of student that didn't want to get in trouble. I hated getting in trouble. I would not say that I was the teacher's pet by any means. There were other people in my school that got along with teachers way better than I did. I just did what I had to do to get by. Um, in my opinion, I didn't get straight A's, but I still got good grades. I don't think I finished. I think I finished the my senior year off with like a 3.7 whatever, which wasn't really that great, and yet I was still third in my class. So I took the classes that I needed to take. I was in a lot of extracurricular activities, Business Professionals of America, uh, Future Farmers of America, which I don't think it stands for that anymore, but I was in BPA and FFA all four years. I was in band ever since I was in fifth grade. I was in volleyball, and then I did basketball basically from like elementary school up until the end of my sophomore year season and then I gave that up. I would manage the boys basketball teams. I just, I mean, I was involved in a lot of things, but I don't think I excelled in really anything. That sounds so bad to say, but it's true. I wasn't like first pick varsity player in sports my freshman and sophomore years or junior years. Um, I was like the second clarinetist when the music sheets were handed out. Like I wasn't I was not the best at anything. But like I said, I did what I had to do to get by. I was a state officer in BPA and that was fun. It really wasn't like too challenging, but that was probably like the biggest thing that I did in my high school career. <laughs> like looking back on it, at least I'm still a business professional and that's why um, I did like my business classes the best. That was my favorite subject in school. And I had a really awesome teacher who's literally like family now. So that helped, but that's who I was in high school. 
Do I have any pets? Well, if you didn't see from earlier, or any of my other videos, I have two cats. They're half Siamese, half who knows what. Ellie Mae, come here Ellie, come here. And Gus Gus, so they are brother and sister. And they are, how old are you guys? They're like two years old, I think. Two and a half-ish, yeah, probably two and a half years old. There's Gus. And I also have a African pygmy hedgehog. He is just a couple months old. I think he was born in, on March 10th, so. He's really cute. Are you religious? I wanted to throw this in here because I do think it's important to talk about your faith when you're opening up on a platform like this. And I don't know how big or small this channel could stay, but um, I think it's important to get it out there. I am a Christian, non-denominational. I believe in the Bible. I don't really branch out. I don't branch out from anything other than the Bible. I'm not a believer of outside forums that claim to be biblical. Um, but as far as the term religious goes, I've never liked that word because religious to me sounds like some type of cult. Like, I don't know, maybe you're on the same page as me as that. But also if you stamp yourself with the word religious, then you get a lot more backlash from people saying um, what you should and should not do. So I think it's like very important for me to say that I am a Christian and I believe in God and Jesus and Holy Spirit. And with that comes imperfection, it comes sin, it comes so many flaws, it comes forgiveness, all of the things that the Bible encompasses, I believe in. So I am not perfect. I do not go to church every Sunday. In fact, 2020 has been the least involved in church I've been in the last five years, which I'm not proud of. And I can tell that reconnecting with God is one of the biggest things that I need in my life. It was a realization that I just honestly had today. And that's okay because he's there. I'm baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I was baptized back in 2016, I wanna say, alongside one of my best friends who is in heaven now. So that is just like a really special thing to me that I was able to get baptized with him standing next to me. And yeah, I'm a Christian. I will own up to the fact that I know I'm supposed to be held to these higher standards, but I also know that God forgives and Jesus forgives and he died for my sins and I will forever be grateful for that. Do I have any tattoos? I do not. I do intend to get some. I just don't know when. I like hate needles. Not that I look at tattoos as the same way I look at like an IV, but I do plan to get a tattoo. Hopefully sometime soon. It's just never, I guess, been something that I've put aside the time and like put on my schedule like, hey, today I'm going to get a tattoo. So the time will come. I don't know when. I know what I will get, and I think I know where I will get my first one, but it's just when. I don't know. Um, and then the last question I have is, what did you do for fun as a child? So I grew up on a cattle ranch. My dad still operates the ranch. We had, we basically lived in the middle of two small towns, so we didn't have direct neighbors other than my grandparents when they were alive. So my growing up experience is a lot different than basically all of the friends I've had and especially my boyfriend. Oh, that was another question I skipped over. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am dating a guy named Leo. He's in a lot of my other videos and more of the ones I've been posting lately. We've been dating for two years. We started dating on November 28th of 2018. We met through work. Yeah, I mean, I could go on and on about him, but I won't embarrass him, but he's awesome. He's really funny. So I like putting him in my videos because people like seeing him. But back to growing up, uh, he grew up in Las Vegas, not like on the strip. That's like Vegas strip is a lot different than the life he lived uh, or the life anyone would live when you actually grow up in Vegas. But I grew up on a cattle ranch. Sydney and I raised steers for two years. Like we basically had steers, which is a type of cow. As our pets, we had to befriend them and raise them and grow trust with them. And then we sold them off at an auction and that was like our first paycheck. So we, um, I mean, that was probably the most involved in the ranch that we had to be. We would help with branding cows if needed. A lot of the times so though, my dad would just have, you know, men come over who could help him better than some girls because we slowed down the process. So I'm not gonna claim that I'm like some cowgirl and rode horses and, you know, 
wrangled cows, but um, I did grow up on a cattle ranch, no neighbors. I didn't have friends that, you know, I could just run down the street and play with. So um, I think that was a huge factor into why my siblings and I are so close still to this day. We only had each other. So we all just became really good friends. It was honestly the best life growing up out there and it's something that I hope I can give to my kids because we had all of the outdoors as our playground. We would go sledding down the huge hill that my parents have. We still literally do. I'm hoping it snows this week so that we can do that. We would run bare feet all of the time across gravel roads and have races. We would ride our bikes and four-wheelers and my brother had a dirt bike and we had endless amounts of cats like barn cats galore so maybe that's why i love cats <laughs> actually i only like my cats which is weird i know i'm forgetting to say so many things that i'm gonna wish i added in here about where i grew up but i literally could not have asked for a better childhood we had to bus to school that was like the only downside of living where we did because everyone else was like driving their cars and they could just walk home for lunch and we didn't get to do that. Like if we were having a friend stay the night, it was a very set in stone plan because our parents had to drive 10 miles to pick them up. It wasn't just they could walk home at nine at night if they wanted to. So yeah, it was like a lot different than a lot of the people that I know, but totally cool. I loved it. It was, I wouldn't have changed it for the world. I think I already said that about something else, but um, that wraps up this q and I've been recording for 20 minutes, even though I thought that this was going to be quick, but I hope that helped you get to know me a little bit better. I need to go shower and get to bed, and I'll get this one up for you on Monday, December 21st. You guys, we're only four days away until Christmas when you see this. I'm so excited for Christmas this year, especially because I'm going to make sure I document it. So I will see you guys back here Tuesday for another video. Have a great night. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.